what's up, North County? Welcome to the Morning Brew. We are Wednesday morning, and we have our special guest. As always, we have Dave Story with Story Termite Pest Control. He is co-hosting today because he loves this so much. Yeah, good right? morning. I know, good morning. She's a special guest, and I am special. You are special, and you get some. Well, my wife says, she, I always try to do the special card. She don't get, you don't get to say that yet unless you get a check from the government. So, really? Yeah, because I'm not quite there on the spectrum for getting a check. <laughs> Not yet. Getting close. Right? Yeah. Well, I like those glasses, man. Like that? Look at that. Dude, those look... Man, shout out to Sage over at Primary Eye Care. Do nice. I look sophisticated? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't even tell they're, they're on there. You yeah. know, because it's got the, you know, transparent, you know, frames. You, know, you put these, uh, the bifocals, whatever, in. Because I can't see up close anymore. Aggressive. But then I work it up over my head, so I have to go like this. And then flip them over so I can... <laughs> Figure out what I'm well, doing. Well, you know they make a they make a double bifocal. Yeah, you put them on top. Are you still? No. The, yeah, they go. The bifocal on, goes here and it goes on there. Top, yeah. They're specifically made for industry. I used to be an optician for you know really? many years. Jeez. Yeah. Right on. That was funny. I, I was watching TV the night with my wife and I, across the room and I had it the way our bed was left and I couldn't see. I know. Because I guess like, so now I got them teetered up like this and <laughs> she's like, "What are you doing? I need to see this way." Dude, I hate up, so. the yeah. fact that I can't see shit when. I don't have my glass, like my oh. phone. I'm like this. I'm like squinting. My head hurts. Freaking good. Because I don't old, need glasses man. for the distance. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't. I can see across the way. I can, you know, see a tick on a horse's ass across the field. But yeah. up close, it's like. Oh, oh man, I guess that happens. You get older, you start losing that. Your arms ain't long enough anymore to, you know, stretch know. that out to read. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at my cell phone now. This yeah, is, that's pretty cool. So that way I can. <laughs> Hello. Hopefully you won't lose that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that still hurts, man. Okay. God dang it. If anybody sees a red iPad on the side of the road anywhere from like El Pomar through possibly Paso, anybody it's mine. My iPad. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been going on, man? What's been going on at the Story Termite Pest Control stuff? Man, it's not a whole lot. Just, no? Just staying busy. Yeah, just, um, you know, termites still going on. We're busy doing termite inspections. Yeah. I don't know if that's the indication how the market's going, but we're just, I mean, ourselves, we're just busy. Yeah, repair guys are booked out, and then bug guys are starting to, if the rain don't keep just coming. I mean, I'm at this point where I'm ready for the drought again. It's just a, <laughs> getting tired. Wait, for the moisture, does that, yeah. does that, does that make you busy? You can't spray and stuff when it's wet. And oh, really? Yeah, just for legalities and stuff. Oh, but, why? Uh, just oh, because it chemicals. soaks more into the yeah, ground and stuff? So, yeah, we have, we've got tubes. rules and regulations that we got to go by. Oh, really? Yeah, we're so heavily, if, heavily regulated. So, like, when we pour um, our gas into the, like, a hole, does that? Yeah, that's supposed is to that be. Is that okay? Yeah, that's down squirrel holes. You yeah. Know, yeah. Light a match. Well, that's always fun to do, <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't think uh, I don't think EPA like that, but yeah. probably not. Nah, see, but, nah, I'm just cruising on. How you been? Good, good. It's, it's uh, end of March, man, mm-hmm. and it's just crazy as how fast this thing's going. Oh, I know. Oh, it's, it's how you slow it down when you get older. It's uh, it doesn't slow, slow down. the time down. It's it, it, yeah. it's yeah. I wanted to slow down. I mean, literally, it's like today's Wednesday. I thought it was Thursday. We did the. We did our backstage pass on Monday, so that's kind of thrown thrown me off all week long. Uh-huh. But uh, but yeah, it's just you wake up, jam through the day. Oh yeah, you know it's like it's like Groundhog's Day every single day. Well, you know, you start getting old, you got calendars and stuff that you're working off calendar. You're fighting the clock, and then so then you put all your count <laughs> stuff in throughout the year. You know, we're like right? we got to go to Montana in May, and so like all right, that'll be here before I know it. You know, and it, oh, it's yeah. like all right, well that's over. You know, and it's like all right. I just started using my calendar probably in the last year. Really? You know, on my phone, uh-huh. which has been, I don't know why I didn't use this like years ago. Yeah. You know, because I'll, I'll sit there and look down, go to my calendar. I'm like, oh, shit, I got a dentist appointment today. Oh, yeah. I'm the worst. I have hey, to Hey, can use I it. cancel yeah. my dentist appointment? Because I totally <laughs> forgot. Yeah. And of course, that's $50 if you want to do that. So. Yeah. No, that's no fun. But, but uh, hey, yeah. so we want to give a shout out to our sponsors because we can't do this without our, without our sponsors. We want to thank Escalar Wines. Wine Travelers Hideaway, Visit Atascadero, 805 Customs, Santo Brothers Plumbing, Pacific 805 Spas, Hanson Enterprises, Borhon Auto Center, Kennedy Club Fitness, Airflow Filter Services, and of course, Dave here with Story Termite Pest Control, guys. Hey, serious business, buy local to support local because, again, you know, you don't see Amazon in the back of your kids' soccer uniforms. You see Story Termite Pest Control on the back of that stuff. So buy local to support local, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It pisses me off when when people like, especially you know what I, you know what pisses me off, and I won't say any names because it's um, 
they're a local media here that has um, a rock station and a country station. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I know for a fact that they buy their crap from outside sources and don't utilize their sponsors that really? pay them 100%. Oh, man. I know for a fact. Yeah. That's why when I go to... Piss um, me off. You know, we go out a lot, restaurants and bars and stuff, and it's like, I like to get to know the guys, and then, you know, I'm patronizing your bar. It's like, and then so they'll throw back, and so right? you just trade with guys, you know, and... Well, so. I mean, that's the, that's the whole idea of local business, you know, word of mouth. You mm -hmm. know, you go out there and put yourself out there. You meet businesses. People don't. Yeah. You know, I always ask, I always ask, like, what what does somebody do? Because, I mean, literally, we could have this business relationship. I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess I know what you do. But if I knew you, didn't know you outside of what I do now, how would I know? Unless I ask, what do you do? Yeah. You know, and nobody asks that question. Nobody yeah. asks what do you do? Like a, like a soccer, soccer games or soccer, oh, yeah. you know, whatever you're sitting next to somebody. Oh, hey, can I say, Hey, what do you do? Oh, yeah. I don't, you know, and just people don't ask that question. No, that's uh, you know, like our, we have a motto. It's, you know, we don't have customers. We have friends. And it's like, cause I really believe that. I was like, I be my friend. I will hang out. We'll have a good time. Right. You know, yeah. And it's like, just, just to have a customer. It's like, no, I don't feel that way. to my customers. I want friends. Sure. Well, I mean, it's, and that's the idea. I mean, when you have business, you, you do have friends. I mean, that's, that's what it is. You, you know, some, some become better friends, you know, your business, yeah. you know, your clients become better friends. Just, you know, you might have the same, you know, interest that line and you know, whatever, but it's, that's, that's kind of what the cool thing is about local business. Yeah. And, Imagine it, being and in we LA. have a good niche up here in this North County. It's just awesome. Oh yeah. Like, you know, we, from Orchid area, you know, moved up here 22 years ago and it's just like, just, so much different than well, yeah. down below. 22 years yeah. ago to now, it's changed. Yeah, quite a considerably. bit. Considerably. The last four years has changed a lot. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah it's, but no, it's just great community. It's it's just awesome up here. Hey, so we got to also make a reminder of a couple of events that we got coming up. We've got, uh, we've got the Sheriff Rodeo coming up May 11th. So uh, get your tickets right now. They're $10, 12 and under are free. Law enforcement are free. This will sell out. That's trust be a me. Good gig. Okay. I'll be gone too. This darn is going to be right. awesome. You've never gone? No, I'm. I'm we're going to be gone. I've never oh. gone, but we're, yeah, we're going to be in Montana, Ben. I was like, man. So the Sheriff Rodeo. Oh. Get there. SlowSheriffRodeo.com. Get your tickets. Buy them soon, even if they're free. Okay, you don't want to be knocking on the door on the outside of that thing because there's going to be a kick-ass fan zone. Um, they're going to have, like I said, they're going to have the rodeo. They're going to have mutton busting, bull riding. I mean, it is a fun event, and you cannot be at a safer place. A law enforcement, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? The sheriff rodeo. Hell yeah! I mean, law enforcement are free, dude. Yeah. I would, any event, if I ever had any events, all law enforcement should be free. Oh yeah, right? They, no, for sure. But uh, and then we also have the Stacy Strong. You're a golfer, huh? Well, but you're this kind attempt. of a golfer. Yeah, you're you're a you're a fundraiser golfer. Social go golfer. I yeah, guess you yeah, yeah. So we got the Stacy Strong uh, golf tournament coming up. Okay, that's going to be in June. Uh, Stacy Strong, she's battling, she's battling through cancer, um, through alternative methods. And so these different events and fundraisers help to, um, get her those next treatments that she needs. Oh, wow. And so, uh, they still have the early bird special for the four, uh, that ends April 7th. It's going to be at Hunter Ranch. They're going to have sponsors at each, uh, um, tea that you can do whatever you want to do. You know, as some mm. as the 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 foursomes come through, you can just give them all shots of Jaeger bombs. You can do fireball that's, and that's fun. What done that before? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's why you're a golfer, yeah. right? <laughs> that's why I'm a I'm a golfer. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I don't even finish the 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 tournament. I just get stuck on one of those holes. <laughs> I, I went to Idaho last year, and uh, my brother in law says, "Hey, we're, um, when you're going to be here, um, that they need a fourth person, somebody, Aaron, which." He bowed out for whatever reason. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm a terrible golfer. You yeah. do not want me in a golf tournament. Like, no, oh, come on, whatever. I was the best one out of all of them. <laughs> in a best ball scramble? It, it, yeah. it, was, it was amazing. I mean, every one of them, you know, swung for the fences. Yeah. You know, grass went that way. Ball didn't even be touched. And I'm like, all right, I can hang with you guys. Yeah. And it was fun, that, man. I got smashed. Fun. Those, those best balls are great because you can get, you know, Get one ball safe, and then the other three can just rip it and see if you can. You That's know. the problem. Nobody was ripping it. <laughs> I, I was the only, and when I say I was ripping it, it was just uh, getting past the lady, the lady tees. That's that's how ripping it was. Yeah. <laughs> but that that was it. It was going this way. It was that yeah. way. 
I was actually finding other b- people's balls because I couldn't find any more of mine. Uh, man, the other day I was doing a termite inspection on the backside of the uh, Paso Golf Course. In mm-hmm. the, in the, I think you hear that dunk, dunk. I'm like, oh man, I go, I've, I've never played that course, and I don't think I ever will. You've never played that course? No, I'm afraid I'm gonna break windows and stuff. You know, that is it's, such a tight little narrow. It is scary. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna. Yeah. Which, which side were you on? Were you at the? You're in the back nine where I the. I can't remember which. which Creston which, Road area. So the, yeah. the golf course backs up to Creston Road. So yeah. that's, that would be the back nine. So the back it, nine would come. So that one on that Creston Road, that one lady's house was doing one time. She had, it looked like Easter eggs everywhere on her backyard. Oh, really? Just golf balls. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> it's it's funny because some of those places, like there's one right on the corner. And I think it's on the corner of maybe 16 or 14 or something like that. They, they have a fence. It's glass. The fence line is all the panels i'm sure i'm hoping that they're plexiglass yeah, or something gotta be. <laughs> but it's glass yeah. and i know exactly what you're saying because i'm a shanker you know i i swing for the fences and it goes every which direction except for where i wanted to yeah. go and i've hit the house by the pond you know before oh, man. i've shanked it into that house that you're talking about it's like oh yeah but and, and these people, these people get pissed, right? Well, yeah, you're supposed to go pay for that damage. Well, you know? I, didn't, I didn't break anything, but I mean, these guys get pissed. You live on a damn golf course; it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I had one house where there, uh, they had chicken wire framed out around their windows, and it looked hideous. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I guess it was tired of getting their windows broke. Right. Well, if if you know, if you're sitting at the clubhouse, you've been in the clubhouse, right? Yeah, you've been yeah. at Deeds. No, no, I haven't. it's been a while. You've been. I've been busy. What do you do, man? I just kind of just hang out in the Tuscadero. Did, did your wife just like keep you at the house? And you're like, Dave, we're not going anywhere tonight. And short leash. Yeah. <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw, she, throw a she, sandwich in she there puts, real she every now and then. Just enough to get in trouble and <laughs> yanks it back. A choker chain. I got marks right here. <laughs> well, let's not talk about your marks on your neck. On, on, this is a this is Whoa. a family show. <laughs> this is a family show, right? On, on that note, we probably should bring in Lori Bryan. So. Oh, hey. nice. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's take a break. We'll take a break real sure, quick. Go to commercial. Show some sponsor love, and we'll be right back to the morning brew. <laughs> What's up, North County? This is Teresa Branch with Airflow Filter Service. We are a family-owned business right here in the North County. We have air filters, oil filters, oils and lubricants, and hydraulic hoses. We provide services that include air filter cleaning, DPF cleaning, and waste oil collection. Come check us out at 1140 Ramada Drive, and we can help you with all your automotive and industrial vehicle needs. Welcome back to the Morning Brew, and we have our guest host today. We have Dave Story with us, Story Termite Pest Control. And hey. uh, if you want to know any information about the North County, just go ahead and call Dave. But right now, <laughs> we have Lori Bryant with Slow County News on, and she's going to tell us about all the dangerous stuff that's happening in the North County. Lori, welcome. Hey, good morning. So we did have an accident earlier in Napomo, but it should be cleared up now. Uh, it looks like we're going to have rain. In the next couple of days, so be aware of that. Crazy, yeah. I know, we right? Went from like one day, which was Saturday, to four days of rain. Exactly. That's just it's totally crazy. Uh, we did have an accident um, right there when you come out of Atascadero, um, right past Home Depot yesterday. Um, minor injuries, thankfully, um, but it sounded like a pretty pretty bad accident from the scanner. Uh, we also have, don't forget, today, so 41 is closed from 46 all the way to the next, to the Kern County. So um, you cannot, it's not usable. So do an alternate route, and that's from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. tonight. If that changes, we'll get it out to you as fast as possible. Um, they're just doing, it's called stipend, which I'm not really sure what that means. But anyway, the road's closed. Huh. Um, so that's the big news. Rain in the forecast. The rocks should be wet by tomorrow. <laughs> and other than that, I don't have a lot. It's it's supposed to be quite it a might rain, be huh? today. <laughs> yeah, the uh, it's it definitely is supposed to be a lot of rain. 
<clears throat> I keep telling my wife that that it's supposed to be a lot of rain, and uh, she keeps telling me differently. But because we're camping, yeah, this week I'm just gonna watch the rock. Rock will tell us. Yeah, just go by, uh, just go outside the Cattlemen's, the Pass Robles Inn, and look at the rock, and I'll tell you what the weather's like. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's literally, it's 100% right every single time. Really? Yeah. Every time. Every time. It never, every time. It is the most, it's the best meteorologist that money can buy. Really? Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah, look at that. Exactly. Uh, Thursday through Sunday, we have, uh, yeah. we have rain showers. So. Yep. So, and I, it, like right now, it's pretty overcast here. I don't know about your way, but the sun hasn't come out yet. So let's hope it just stays off until tomorrow, but yeah, it may not. For sure. For sure. It may not. Awesome. And then that's pretty much, I don't have anything really other than, you know, it, we just be careful out there, drive safe and have a wonderful day. Awesome, Lori. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you calling in. We appreciate everything you guys do over there at Slow County News and uh, bringing us all what's happening here in the North County and beyond. And have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Take care, guys. All right. Bye-bye. Lori Bryant, Slow County News. Dude, they got a ton of people. They're 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 bigger than KSPY. Really? Oh yeah. Man. And they I think they report ten times better than KSPY as well. hundred percent. Yeah, I have KSPY lately. Holy smokes. Right? Me. Yeah. Yeah, don't get me started. Yeah. Don't get me started on our <laughs> local our local media uh, news news guys. Yeah, the, the talent they bring in, I just amazing. Or where they well, find him. It's <laughs> it's you know, everybody has these things. I mean S- Slow County News is is I mean KSB out KSB why ought to pay them, you know, okay. to run commercials on their stuff and let them do the yeah. you know the news and the, well, the originals over there is this little Richard and Dave Hovdy. <clears throat> uh, you know, everybody yeah. else is like Remember Mark Martell? Yeah. Uh, Rick, no, Rick, Rick Martel. Rick, Rick Martel. Martel. Hair, didn't he? Didn't he used to sing at the? Yeah, and yeah, he was. He a reminds singer. me of like an old guy with a cigarette and a cocktail in his hand, and, right? Like yeah. a Lawrence Welk. Yeah, yeah, that hair was awesome, dude. Yeah. It was. I mean, there was a lot of those. And then remember the guy? Remember Fishmasters? Oh yeah, remember yeah. Fishmasters? I used to try to stay and watch that after Saturday Night Live when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and Fishmasters. Yeah. And wasn't that dude uh, married to Sharon Graves? The, he was married to Sharon she Graves. Was a and then Covey. he got caught jerking off yeah, or something at the movies, bad. like yeah. a Pee Wee Herman. And they ousted and took off to you know some other state. Yeah, man, that was that was bad news. That show was great though. I, I thought it, it was, was all public I, access TV right? type of, back in the day. Yeah. I thought it was pretty was pretty funny because you'd see yeah. that was the first time that you really saw like <clears throat> you know North County or any of the county yeah. like on TV. You're like, oh, that's uh, Dude, you know. The worst part about that back in it was the wind. They beat at Lopez, and it's like Lopez. It was just the right? wind, so you'd always hear that wind in their in their production, you know. But <laughs> they probably just had an old you know VHS camera out there trying to do it. Dude, <laughs> but, you know, uh, what? I th- I think they should bring those back. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm I'm sure you could probably Google those and find like the old episodes. Yeah, that's because <clears throat> Fishmasters again. You know, it was that like you said that local you know public access. You know, they yeah. they probably well it was all through probably them through their their uh, organizations or through KSBY. Yeah, and it it filmed them. But then when that happened, because remember the guy would wear the yeah, life, life jacket, jacket around, yeah. all the time. Yeah. That was funny stuff. That was good stuff. Hey, so uh, uh, let's see. What do we got up there, Eric? We've got uh, Teresa Branch. Teresa and Sherry Perry says, hi, Dave. Oh, Sherry. Hello, Dave. Hey, Sherry. Sherry Perry says, hi, Dave. Look, at dude, you got fans all over the place. Oh, Sherry and Matt, those guys are awesome. Nobody ever Perfect. says, hi, Randy. No? No. Dude, always, you're everywhere in this town, man. You're all over the place. Yeah, but I mean, hi, that, Randy. that means a lot more right there. <laughs> like, you get a text. Like, somebody went out of their way to say, to, like, text it. I mean, text that's, it. That's, that's, that's tiny. More love. I can say, yeah. hey, what's up, Dave? Yeah. You know, doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I don't know. But now, if I text it, that's a little higher yeah. level, right? There you go. <laughs> hey, so hey, did you hear about this bridge going on down yeah. uh, down in Southern awesome. California? Yeah. So this is going to be the world's largest wildlife crossing. Crazy, crazy, yeah. right? So the nine ninety million plus project will bridge ten lanes of Highway One Hundred and One and Liberty Canyon in Agora Hills. So the the Cajon Valley is it Cajon? Right? Cajon? Is that how you pronounce it there? Cajon, yeah. Cajon, Cajon. Cajon. Cajon Pass. Oh, Cajon. You're... Cajon Valley is going to be the home of the world's largest wildlife crossing with work under, underway on a 90 million plus project. Now, some of the project supporters are offering docent, docent uh, lead tours of Dose, the project. Docent. Docent? 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 Yeah, what is that? that? That's like a, uh, what do you call it? Tour guide. Got it. Basically, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Which bridges Highway 101 in Agora Hills. The program will give members of the community a first-hand look at what's planned as well as information 
on mountain lions and other wildlife expected to be using the project. The crossing will span 10 lanes across Highway 101. It will be fully landscaped to create what feels like a natural pathway for animals. Plans call for the project to be completed in 2025. I think this is a pretty cool idea. Yeah, are you seeing them? Montana has one up there. Do they? Out of Kalispell, I think. And then um, a buddy of mine lives outside of uh, Payson, but they actually have a crossing, but it's there's, there's no bridge. It's just you slow down when the elk cross. But they, they let you know <laughs> that they got fences on this side and fences on that side, but it's open with, like, uh, cattle guards. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so you let it know it's coming through. I th- like you said, I think, it's a, I think the concept is pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting, especially down there, especially down there in those areas where, you know, there's so many damn lanes, there's so many cars. I mean, yeah. you, and that's why, like, on your property, right, you have that, and I, I, I don't know if, I think you did, you put the extra extension on your fence, no, do, no. Do, do you man the fence on the freeway? No, the, the or does Caltrans? Caltrans do, but they they do all the big ones, and then they go to our spot and they put a little four wire fence in. Because you know, if you go past Santa Barbara Road yeah. um, down there, you know, around the where the, the Longhorns yeah. are, I've on both sides. Yeah, they just now they're like an that, eight footer. Yeah, just put that up. That's foot. nice for them. Yeah, and that's for probably uh, the deer, right? My uh, deer, imagine now. Keep Mount, the, whatever. Keep them on that side, but doesn't it split the the herd. So if you had a overpass going through but yeah my question on that is you can be able to hunt it off the road <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't know um that's a good question shoot they're coming across it's right there i think yeah. it's gonna i think it's gonna feet from the road you can shoot right yeah i mean so, it's, yeah. it's like going under any overpass yeah. i mean you're gonna see things and people are gonna trip out i think it's gonna be a ha- i think it's gonna be a road hazard I think it's going to, you know, it's like going to, at it. hey, wait, yeah, hey. people are looking and, you know, it's like kind of going to uh, South County, you know, when you go, you go up and over and you see the ocean, it, like <laughs> everything stops. It's like people are, you know, looking at the ocean. It's like, come on, man. Yeah. I, I hate I just, driving what South What kind County. of fences are they going to have on it? They'll probably decorate it pretty good, but just on the side to keep them from jumping into the freeway. It'll. Pr- I would imagine yeah. that they're going to be high. I mean, obviously. I imagine you're probably not going to be able to see it. It's not going to be like all, you know, short, so that way they can look over. They're like, yeah. oh, hey, there's a wolf. There's a <laughs> bear. You know, because otherwise those guys will jump over and, you know, kamikaze. The car is coming down. Well, I'm glad the money's being well spent. Yeah. That's crazy, Eric. I mean, that's. what do you think about that? Uh, I like Dave said. I, I think it's a great idea. I mean, we did it here on the forty six, right? The under the you see those big old tunnels on the forty six that's being built right now. That's for well, the, that's for put the them elk. under the under the freeway. They go yeah. under the freeways. Okay. So the elk can go under the freeways. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't think we should spend the money right now on that. Oh no, we're putting the, we're putting all the money in that bullet train. Yeah. Oh, no. Didn't you see that? The cabbage train or turnip train? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody knows where to spend the money the best. Yeah, did you so. see that? Uh, Ten years ago when they bid the job, it was at X amount of, you know, billions of dollars, right? Yeah. Now, ten years later, they need another $10 billion because inflation and money has changed. Wow. And so they need ten billion dollars more. I just read this the other day that well, they we shouldn't get another bond or something going. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It's it's so stupid. Of course, we're gonna probably use it because it'll go right to Vegas in like you know four minutes. Well, why didn't they just do a LA to Vegas instead of this going down? Where they start over in uh, Corcoran or somewhere where they yeah. started it at? Yeah, okay, let's do it Button Willow. Who the hell's gonna be over there? <laughs> right? Like, yeah, yeah. They have. So they, I'm gonna go from San Francisco there. We're gonna go down. But just go from have Vegas pay for it and run a run a high speed train back and forth. Right. Yeah. Or an escalator. Oh, what are, yeah, just well, walking ones. Yeah, yeah. walking one. Yeah. There you get exercise and you walk yeah. across the way. Just remember you stay on the right side if you're not walking because you can get run over. Yeah. In the airport. <laughs> I know. It's like, guy will stand right for you. Hey, get out of the way. I'm get out of the plane, way, man. I'm, uh, oh, I'm, wait, wait. I'm hung a, over. You got a fan. Hi, yeah. Hi, Randy. Who said that? Hey, Kelsey. Kelsey. Yes. Kelsey. Awesome. Right. This is this is the battle of who can say hi the Randy most to Dave or myself. One on one. One one to one right now, Dave. Yeah. At the end, we're we're gonna whoever uh, whoever has the most uh, highs will have to buy <laughs> the other one a cocktail. All right. Hey, so Gen Z is turning to side hustles to purchase normal stuff. You know what a Gen Z is? Yeah. Is it which ones I don't like? Millennials. Millennials. Okay. Yeah. Gen C are, is the generation that was born between 1997 and 2013. So what are you, a boomer? I don't know. What am I? I don't, actually, what, what what's, what's after a boomer? Oh no, I think it's a boomer. It's a. Um, what do we call ourselves? I don't. I don't know. What are, what are we, Eric? Yeah. So you got Gen. And then what are the kids now? 
They're uh they're not millennials. They're no, they're else. um Oh, uh, we okay. Worthless? We got, I don't know uh, what. Well, the, okay, how old? It's like, are, it's how like, old are you guys? It's like a tech thing. Oh, well, Gen X. Hey, Gen Chuck X. Hill just said Gen X. Oh, good okay. job, Chuck. All right. Okay, so that's some, that's what intelligence out Gen there. X. Because I was thinking the X for you know, uh, like Twitter. He just changed the stuff to X because uh, that's the Gen okay. X thing. Kids mm. are on social media. But I think we're. Well, um, ask Chuck, what are we? Because Chuck's my age. <laughs> yeah, Ch- yeah, Chuck. What are we? What are we? We're not baby boomers. Because that was Gen X. We're oh, Gen we X? are Gen we're X. We're Gen X. Oh, I yeah. thought today's. Well, what's like the new kid after millennial? What is that? So we're Gen X. We're Gen X. Gen Xers. Okay. Okay. So I wonder. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't Z come after X? Gen so, Z. So that's the next Gen one over Z? then. I don't know. So millenn- Gen X millennials. Okay. So anyway, after Gen X, are worthless. So. <laughs> COVID babies. <laughs> COVID. Can you imagine being that? They're they're gonna. There's a thing called COVID babies. There's something like that. COVID. Really? The, yeah. It's because, you know, when the world shut down, yeah. everybody was just boning. Oh, yeah. You know, so uh-huh. they're called yeah, COVID they babies. Blackouts and stuff like that. Lights are out. Yeah. A lot of babies. Yeah. Months later. Uh-huh. Hey, so online hustles have become an increasingly popular income um, avenue for these uh uh, for these Gen Zs, right? So the generation designated by the U.S. consensus as born between 97 and 2013 has been standing in the workforce for the wrong reason. 74% of managers find generation that generation harder to work than others, according to the resume builder. 57% of Gen Z is willing to abandon the standard 9 to 5 entirely to become a social media influencer. The outtake spoke to several Gen Z side hustles making up to $99,000 a month or six visitors doing everything from making financial advice videos to offering trip planning services. The effort, uh, the report notes, is because Gen Z became the age during 2008 financial crisis, spent crucial years of school remotely during the pandemic, and observed recent waves of layoffs. Things have changed and able to afford normal stuff in the suburban middle-class America, uh, so they are doing this and making side hustles through social media. Being an influencer, huh? I, I would be interested to see how these guys, and there's a lot of people that are making money through Instagram and Facebook and TikTok ah. and, and all that stuff. Right. Well, my daughter, my son, it was a sixth grade promotion out of San Gabriel. And the kids are, what are you going to do when you grow up? And they kept saying, YouTubers, I'm be YouTubers. What the hell is a YouTuber? <laughs> you know, and now these YouTubers are making money. Total. Yeah. To- there's that kid, the uh, Rowdy, Roddy, whatever. You know, he's like 11. And he has over, I think, like 2 million followers. Man. And he he plays video games, and his camera's behind him, and people pay him. And he makes sponsors, you know, because now af- after you get so many sponsorships or you get so many followers or something like yeah, that they monetize it they, all yeah, yeah they start sending you and putting ads on your videos and they start paying you wow okay so we got another co-host co-hosting today we so got a an- Teresa branch says you guys are gen x kids like high schoolers are gen z kids born after 2010 are generation alpha alpha or whatever the hell that means generation alpha alpha, yeah. that- alpha gen gen sure? alpha well, they're definitely not no, alpha. alpha. I was just going. That's the wrong word. Yeah, they yeah. should. They should call it the opposite of alpha. What's the opposite of alpha? Vagina. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what. Generation vagina. <laughs> Generation <laughs> V. I, I'm Generation V. V. I just. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sour on them, but I like. There's no work ethics anymore. Like, Let, let's. You know. Yeah. So oh, you're totally. These kids get on TV. Yeah. They're, well, just go go out somewhere. Like right? during the day. Like, does anybody work anymore? And it's like, right. I, I see people are out. It's like, oh man, I just, I guess I'm just old. It, so well, get off my lawn. It's yeah. not that it's, it's, it's a, they don't work and B, they don't have consistency, you know, consistency in their work. Yeah. You know, they can go out there and do something for a small imper- period of time. And then the next thing you look over there like this. Yeah. Oh, they'll be on their phones. Oh, yeah. It drives me nuts. Uh, it, it, it drives <laughs> my boys. I mean, it, it, it drives me. I'm like literally talking to them. They're like, eh. Yeah. Get out that hey stupid man. thing, man. I'm going to uh, throw that 
thing across the freeway. Go to go to a restaurant and sit and watch a family sit down. I do. I Everyone do. will be the, like this. I do that. Old man. people are it's the like, worst. Like like in their eighties and nineties, they're they're the absolute worst. They're the ones on their speakerphone. Th- they Hi, are. G, how you doing? Yeah. Today? <laughs> they got their iPads like this. You know, their iPad cell phones. Can you imagine putting this on a holster and walking around with that right stuff? Now, man. I'm gonna do that because I would like to have this. Start a trend, man. Yeah. Jeez. This this would be super hard to text while you're driving though. Yeah. Because this one I can barely get up to the top corner as I'm driving down the road. I'm like, yeah. like this, and then I drop it on the ground. I'm like, shit. Like cars going like are, this. I'm cars like, are honking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Officer Patch, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't text and drive. Yeah. We we know that's a that's a law now. <laughs> hey, so have you ever been down to the club car bar here in Templeton? I have not yet. I was uh, last night. I heard they had a pretty good band in there. A guy. So they yeah I missed that one. They have been they've been having some pretty darn good. Um, uh, musicians come through. Yeah. So I know my buddy, you know, Tim Bowman, no, um, no. Bowman Heating and Air. Um, he also is, is a musician and he's been doing some, some stuff down there, like an open mic or, oh, right you know, kind of like a, you know, come on down type deal. I know they're doing um, like some karaoke there. Uh, they just had the fights there, the UFC last weekend. All right. So they're hosting the UFC, but it's a really cool, it's really, it's not that wide. It's actually literally probably about as width of this here. You got the bar. And so then obviously it makes it a little smaller right here, yeah. but then it's, it's long and it goes down to the big stage down there and it opens up, you know, tables and, and oh, whatnot. That's cool. Yeah. Well, it just so happens. We have somebody from so, the club. So car we, bar. Have, we have, we have, uh, we have, we have, uh, Taylor from the club car bar on the phone right now. So we're going to talk about what's happening down at the club car bar in Templeton. Mm-hmm. Taylor, good morning. What's up, North County? Right on, man. Thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, I got first question. What's up? How was the show last night? Oh. <laughs> uh, I heard great things. I did not make it. I was working on a science fair project with my son. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good dad. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it's hard during the week to make it down there. But um, yeah, I heard great things. And yeah, the quality... An amount of music we've been getting down there is very inspiring. Yeah, I followed that guy for a lot of years. I missed it too. Yeah, yeah. I know it's hard. It's hard in the middle of the week, but yeah, we've been having good good turnout, and um, it's just nice to have a space with great sound that can kind of feature some of these mid-sized acts that alternatively you'd have to be driving, you know, down to L.A. or San Francisco to see. Yeah, because so, you're, you're, yeah, getting, you're cool. getting quite a few like local talent and uh, musicians that's coming through with uh, yep. Numskull, right? Yeah, is that yeah, good medicine? Yeah, Numskull uh-huh. and uh, Good Medicine. Yeah, yep. those are great promoters. They got. Yeah, they've yeah. been around forever since I was a kid. And um, I used to play shows for both of them back when I used to play music outside of, out of the high school. And um, it's cool that they're still doing it and still have their finger on the pulse. And they're getting amazing touring acts coming through so it's really really cool so taylor you also um just kind of introduced the ufc last weekend too right yep how does yep. how, how that turn out it was so fun um a local fighter from templeton cody gibson fought and he was just on the latest season of the ultimate fighter oh really and he he won his team. He didn't win the whole thing, but uh, it was basically the, the teams were set up veterans versus up-and-comers were the two teams. And uh, he, Cody Gibson, had previously had a UFC contract like 10, 10 years ago and had three fights in the UFC. Um, and so they brought him back for this show to give him another chance because he's, what, 36? Oh, he's um, getting old. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. So they gave him another contract, um, and this is his first fight um, back, which he didn't end up winning, but it was – went to decision. It was an action-packed, amazing fight, and uh, he did incredible. Um, so, yeah, a lot of his uh, teammates were there and family and friends. Um, wow. Was, everyone was hooting and hollering. Actually, on the UFC broadcast, they actually called out um, Club Car Bar. They're like, oh, all his friends and family are watching back in Templeton at Club Car Bar. Oh, no kidding. So that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right on. Cool. 
and and so you know you know this kid? Yeah, Cody. He's actually a teacher. Um, at Oregon Junior at Tuscadero I mean, High. Tuscadero Middle, right? Isn't it? Tuscadero. Oh, he's a teacher at Tuscadero the Middle, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Tuscadero. Yeah. Can you imagine being yeah. on his team? Yeah, he was awesome. a teacher down in AC, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, he moved up here to Templeton. I want to say I don't know three years ago or so, three or four years ago. Oh, right on. So we met, we met him and his wife right when um, we first opened the patio for Pig Iron at the Mercantile, and um, yeah, they came in one night and his he was all banged up. He had just had a fight the night before. I was like, I got to talk to this guy and see what's going on. <laughs> right? Wow. What 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 bar did he go to? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. Well, right on. Um, well, so, yeah. so Taylor, um, so you guys have, like I said, you guys kind of uh, uh, completely revamped the old uh, I, um, AJ Spurs down there. You have an outdoor, you have an indoor, you have a mercantile area. You just opened yep. up the the club car bar. Uh, is mm-hmm. there any more plans, or are you guys are you guys set now? And now you're just going to let the engine uh, rev up. Um, I mean, there's always plans. Uh, in all of my free time, I have <laughs> lots of plans. Uh, we've kind of been ping ponging back and forth across the building a little bit. Um, we started on the patio because we got the place during COVID. So, like you mentioned, we completely redid the patio and kind of worked our way across the building, opened up Club Car Bar, which is the exact opposite end. I don't know. It's probably been six or seven months now that that's been open. And now we've been kind of coming back the other way. So we redid the old bar just, I don't know, a month ago um, in conjunction with uh, a whole new menu for Pig Iron and Club Car Bar. So we've redone our kitchen program, um, whole new menu that's amazing and comes out quick and uh, consistent, and we're very excited about that. Great, great awesome. options on there for everybody. Um, so I kind of want to keep ping ponging back towards the patio, um, do some things on the patio. We want to get some trees out there, a little greenery, kind of cozy it up a little bit. Um, but just nothing, nothing major at this point, just kind of, um, make sure everything continues to get dialed in for everybody. And, you know, we always enjoy good feedback and, you know, we're just trying to make a space that works for everybody that we can handle and, um, that, you know, the community loves and embraces. So that's our, that's our goal. Well, very cool. Well, very cool. Well, like I said, I won't take up too much of your time. I know you're out working. Yeah. I appreciate you calling in. And sure. um, what uh, are you guys open every day or are you open um, certain days? <laughs> so Club Car Bar is open seven days a week, seven evenings a week. We open at four. Um, so that's always available. We've got um, basically stuff every, every night. We try to do something. Um, tonight, trivia night, we do trivia on Wednesdays. Oh, so fun. that's always a good time. Um, we have happy hour specials um, at Pig Iron with the whole new happy hour cocktail list, $10 classics, $2 beer and wine, $3 um, home food, or $3 off like certain entrees. Um, and oh, wait, our happy hour is also at Club Car Bar from 4 to 6 with deals on beers and cocktails and that kind of stuff. Cool. Uh, and then like this weekend, for instance, like Thursday, we've got music, um, like really good. Uh, Mark Adams is opening the show and he's always an amazing time. He always brings out a bunch of friends that are all amazing musicians. Um, and then Noel and the deserters are playing, um, that night as well and they're traveling through and they're a really fun time um then friday we've got michael peters the monsters fistful of nickels the sean clark band um saturday night karaoke um sunday we've got charlie mcneil like we we try to keep it staffed as, as much as we can with a variety of Free shows, um, ticketed stuff through Good Medicine. Um, some of the bigger shows that we've been putting on, we've been doing a small door cover just to 
help get the band more money and cover sound fees and all that kind of stuff. You know, five or ten dollar door cover. Cool. So we try to keep it accessible for everybody and keep it mixed up between country stuff and rock stuff and jazz and punk. Um, awesome. Yeah. Well, right on, Taylor. Well, we uh, I appreciate you calling in and and giving us some updates. Uh, what's happening downtown Tumbledon at the Pig Iron and the Club Car Bar? And we'll Absolutely. have to get you into the studio and we'll dig uh, dig a dig a little deeper with you and um, learn learn a little bit more about this journey. So wonderful. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate what you're doing. Um, we're all in this thing together. Awesome. Trying to trying to keep this place special and let people know how special it is. Great Absolutely. What you're doing. Absolutely. Right on, brother. Well, you have a good day, right. and we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care, guys. Thank right. you. Thanks. See you there. All right. You know that good medicine, those promoters? Th- those guys are pretty class act. Yeah. I um, They got a lot of good stuff yeah, coming through. Yeah, so April 6th, my birthday, they're having Paul Cawthon play at the Barrel House, and he's playing the 6th and the 7th. So I was getting tickets on, and I screwed up, and I got the 7th. And I was like, oh, crap, man. I don't want to do that. So I... I <laughs> emailed just put an email to their support thing and she got back to me within minutes and then refunded my tickets for that day got the tickets for friday for so what you needed yeah their customer support was awesome she oh just, good deal was, yeah like really quick and i'm like because i thought oh crap man i lost it i'm gonna have to buy a set of tickets well for, if, they're, if they're watching they should be reaching out to us because we're promoting doing a lot of good stuff and you know promoting yeah. their shows so speaking yeah. of promoting we got to go to commercial yeah buddy. we do got to go to commercial yep. so let's uh let's go to commercial we'll be right back to the morning brew hi this is dave story small game owner with story termite and pest we're a full service termite and pest control company from rodents to termites we can take care of all your pest control needs call today we can tailor a pest control program that will meet your needs and budget contact us at 805-460-0650 or at storytermite.com remember we don't have customers we have friends Hi, welcome to Kennedy Club Fitness, where we have something for everyone. We have weights, cardio, group exercise classes, racquetball, basketball, swimming, and pickleball coming soon. Here at Kennedy, we're committed to health, wellness, and community. Stop by any of our four locations, Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande, or check out our website at kennedyclubs.com. Hey, welcome back to the Morning Brew, guys. Hey, if you guys haven't, we have our website up and going. That is what's up northcounty.com, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our Spotify links right there. We have all of our sponsors up there, videos, links to their Facebook pages or web pages, and this is where we're gonna be giving away all of our swag, gifts, Sheriff Rodeo tickets, airplane flights to Bali, wherever. We're going to be giving away all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Spon- sponsored by our sponsors. Yeah. Huh? Day story. Day- story termite pest control. We <laughs> are so sending, you, Bali, huh? sending, you, sending you to Bali. Well, we forgot we're going to have a meeting after this. <laughs> hey, so uh, so Eric, so recently we had we had Ernest Hall with uh, Paso Grill on, Dub's Paso Grill, and... Uh, Telling us a little bit about the menu down there, and you went yesterday, right? I did, man. I told you I was going. Tell us about it. All right. So, hey, uh, we went down. I went down to Paso Grill yesterday and met up with Ernest. Um, Amazing food. If you guys haven't been there, it's amazing. Um, I ended up having the crawfish uh, platter that they have. Uh, It's delicious. It comes with corn, sausage. um, Just, It was really tasty. It's an old boy over there. Yeah, man. It was really, really good. Um I try. I was gonna try the chicken strips, but my son uh, kind of took over and uh, started eating the chicken strips before I could even try it. But everything was <laughs> everything was amazing. It was good food. I oh, you so, got Ernest. Ernest has got the What's Up North County yeah, hat. He's got the What's Up North County hat on there. Right uh, on. If you haven't been there, man, it is really good. The place is big. It's lively. Uh, Ernest is a good. He has good hospitality. He comes up to everybody and says, "Hey, how you doing?" Um, but the food was just. It was just really good. Wow. So, yeah. And, and what did Wyatt think of the chicken strips? Uh, his face said it all. It was really, it was really good. <laughs> so, so Ernest says that his uh, his chicken, his fried chicken, is like world famous. Ooh, I'm and then, I'm gonna go um, down there. so the fried chicken, 
the fried catfish mm-hmm. and the crawdads are like out of this world, apparently. Oh, man. I love that southern cooking. Do you? He taught me yeah. to eat the, because the sausage was really hot, so he mm-hmm. told me to eat the uh, sausage with the uh, crawfish, and it was really good. As in spicy hot? Not like spicy, but it, was just, it had a little spice to it, like Louisiana sausage. It was good. Yeah, it's, uh, you know where they're at. They're down there mm-hmm. in the corner of, uh, what is that, pa- uh, Park and yeah, it's kind of 14th, I think. Yeah, you'd come down, and it's right there. It's kind of off the beaten path of the right. downtown. But that yeah. was years, that spot was it's years ago where, like, brew. Cornettes yeah. used to be. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah, way. Remember? No. It was Cornettes, and then also. Was um, an artisan but, restaurant was there or something at one time? And then it went you know what? To, I think uh, so. I think it was. And then it was also Powerhouse. The motorcycle shop was in there. Oh, they were there. Yeah, that's where they, That's actually where they started. They're actually there for quite some time. Remember when they went to the Kmart? Yeah. And how big that place was. That, yeah, oh, that was huge. Yeah, yeah. that's that was. Good uh, old days. I think that was a big. That was a. That's where that was their demise. A little bit because it was just way too big. Yeah. And then then they are talking about putting a uh, golf cart or not a golf cart but a, a go kart uh, track, track inside in inside yeah. track. Back in those days, people were like, "Oh, what inside yeah. golf? That's kind of crazy." <laughs> Um, hey, so I wanted to go over this real quick with you, Dave, okay? because uh, I find this is very important. So this is not clicking and it's pissing me off. What the hell is going oh, There we go. Okay. So these are the top 10 insects in California. I want, I, want you to, I want to see if you can name what these are. Okay. Okay. So the top 10 most common California bugs, pests, if you will, are these. Okay, obviously ants, uh-huh. right? We all, we all get pissed off with ants. Can you smell tree ants? Like the oak tree, like if you have an ant, a tree ant on you, can you smell it or is that just me? I don't know, that's probably just you. You sure it's an ant? <laughs> a, a, a thousand percent. Uh, if I smell, yeah. I, I can smell a tree, you know, an yeah. oak tree, you know the, the difference between, it? obviously you do. You, I mean, they, do you? They, you know uh, the difference. No, I'm a termite guy. I don't know anything about bugs. So a tree, like yeah. an oak tree ant, you know yeah, those you get them in there, yeah. And you smash yeah. them and your fingers it's, stink it's for... Yeah, some ants will do that. There's an odorous house ant that it'll smash it, it stinks and... So when I find um, one of these ants on me or somewhere on mm-hmm. me, I can immediately smell it, and I know it's somewhere that. in this vicinity. And I usually find it most of the time. So what are you doing out in the oak trees? Do they fall? Oh, they okay. fall literally as, I mean, <laughs> right now I just noticed <laughs> that we have some in our, in our, our bathroom. Yeah. That uh, picture that was just up, I think that was a fire ant. Yeah, you don't want to yeah, screw around with those guys. Because they're not, they're not the, the ones we generally deal with are the Argentine ants and the little black ants that get in your kitchen and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But these guys, yeah, the fire ants kind of suck. They bite you. So number two yeah. is termites. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's why you're in business, right? Yeah. So soldier like termites, termites can live up to two years, while a queen termites can live for decades. Yes. Under let, ideal let, climate conditions. Let that scare you all. <laughs> okay, hey, let's 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 deep di- deep dive into the termites, guys. Hey, so if you have a house, pay attention, guys. Listen, if you have a wood structure, and if it's any more in fact, than in fact, Randy, I'm not even comfortable sitting in this room full of wood right now. <laughs> so the revenge of the termites. You know. <laughs> so these termites can live. The queen termite, which reproduces, can live for decades and reproduce these soldiers, right? Okay, these termites can get up to one inch long. Okay, if that That's doesn't depending scare on what type of termite it is, though. So well, one be, inch long. That could be a damp wood termite or some African termite or something. Well, yeah. if you have a termites in your house that are one inch long, <laughs> you are yeah. screwed. Yeah, don't okay? worry here. We don't have those in our houses here. How much do termites weigh? I couldn't tell you. A couple grams. Yeah. <laughs> Up to 2.5 milligrams. Milligrams, actually. not a gram, milligrams. And how long, okay, Dave, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Ready for this? Okay. For, for $1,000, Dave, <laughs> how long have termites been on Earth? Dun, Man. Dun, 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 dun. There's AD, BC, Good answer. BC. <laughs> dun, dun, 250 dun. million years. Really? Are close? You saw the answer. No. It is 250 million years. Yeah. Oh. 250 million years. Dave Story, you are the proud owner <laughs> of a termite pest control <laughs> company. <Whatever. laughs> that is awesome. What natural ingredients can help prevent or kill termites? Natural ingredients. Natural ingredient. Mm, boric acid. Uh, natural. That's natural. Um, orange oil? Orange oil. Yeah, orange oil. Guess some guys use orange oil. Orange oil um, and something that I cannot even pronounce, but it's diatomaceous. 
Oh, diatomaceous earth. Oh yeah, di- yeah, diatomaceous, diatomaceous earth. earth. It's yeah. same as like uh, boric acid, diatomaceous earth. Yeah, okay. you know boron out there and going to Vegas. There's oh yeah, boron. Yeah, they, that's uh, they make a lot of stuff out of that. So this is, these are natural methods, yeah. or they could call term- termite. Uh, story termite pest yeah. control, right? Yeah, I don't That's re- probably I the don't best recommend method. using those natural. Those are dangerous. Did you know that they put diatomaceous earth in your cereal in a lot of foods? Really? Mm-hmm. To keep the bugs off of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's gross. That's gross. That's gross. So number yeah. three are cockroaches. Good old cockroaches. Do you, you don't you don't do anything with co- cockroaches, yeah, right? I do cockroaches. Oh, you do? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see uh, if you know. I don't this know one. anything about them. I'll have to have my my lead pest tech come in and he can tell you all about. It. Okay, well, Cockroach. they've been on Earth for 300 yeah, million years. those guys will survive a nuclear war. They're... <laughs> and cockroaches, are only, they only live like a year. So yeah. they're not... But they breed like crazy. So no, there's different types of cockroaches. So like if you get the... The worst ones are German cockroaches. So if you have a restaurant or something and you get them in there, and in um, certain houses with sanitation problems, you'll get these... And they're just... They breed and just... Now, they the have an odor that I was in a house one time. It was so bad because I could spot the the turds they give off and their egg sac and everything. And you could, but you, they have a smell to them. And uh, oh, they, really? They link it to like triggering asthma and stuff in kids. And, but uh, yeah, they're they're nasty. Now we have their outside cockroaches. People freak out about right. When we get up here in North County, and it's it, they're not going to. You know, there's no health problem associated with but those the ones guys. that are in the restaurant. But those German are cockroaches are yeah. We, those are the ones we, that we have a story for termite and pest control here. How do you get rid of mosquito hawks? They are annoying. Mosquito hawks. Uh, they're they're just a tough one. They're a flying insect, and the mosquito hawk is not the name. They don't eat mosquitoes. What's a mosquito so hawk? It's, like a- it's just an old name they used to call them, but they're they're called crane flies. Ah! And so yeah, I just uh, they're hard, and they'll come out in the springtime. They'll be all over, and they they'll die off a little they're bit. Mos- so. uh, but they're not mosquitoes. They're not mosquitoes. They don't bite. No, nah, they don't bite. They're just nuisance. Are there those um? What are those called? Uh, not a daddy long leg. Um, yeah, daddy yeah, long leg. Is that what they're leg. called? Yeah. No, because no? these guys fly. Huh. So, well, yeah, there are. You just you'd have to do a, some sprays, but it's it's hard to when you have a flying insect, you can't suspend chemical in the air to skin to, so to soft. Kill, so. Skin so soft. Yeah, That's there you it. go. Put Avon. skin so soft on you. Yeah, well, that'll help you for the mosquitoes. Yeah, there so, you go. It's um, you know what? Whoever introduced flying ants, I mean, they should be they should be terminated. Right? Well, flying ants, really? Come on. Well, flying ants will come. They'll, the, it's just like gives back to those ants. They'll certain time of year they'll swarm, so they morph in, have wings, and they'll go swarm around like a termite. Any social insects Great. like that will just swarm out. That's on all you. we need is flying ants and flying so, snakes. So number yeah. four is rodents, which are mm-hmm. your typical mice. Yeah. Do you do you do, you do, we do stuff a lot with them? of rodents? Yeah, a lot really? of rodents right now. Yeah. So I've got it. This I've got this mouse that has been getting into my barbecue every single night. So when I'm done barbecuing, I shut it down, and he's immediately in. He's like Templeton from um, uh, Charlotte's Web. He's right. just this little fat mouse that my dogs try and they rip apart my barbecue, right? <laughs> And whenever, whenever they're going nuts in there, I know he's in there. So I go out there and I slam that thing down as, as much as I can. He stays in there for a good, a good couple pulls. Yeah. But then after that, he takes off. Just heat and him back these, up. And these dogs are dumber yeah. than anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. That, oh, man. I guess I could. I've never done that. Because, well, the dogs are in there, literally inside the barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Well, man. That's crazy. But last, so last the night. Gas build up in the, uh, oh. Let the gas build up through a match. But the, the night before, literally, these dogs, I went out there because they know when I slam that down, they're like this, you know, because that, you know, mouse takes yeah, off. Like, they jump down. They go chase and go nuts for whatever. But this mouse, jump, jump, bam. And they both went like this. He jumped up and ran, literally ran down the uh, the, the rail. Uh-huh. And, I, and I just watched his butt. His butt was like this. I mean, he wasn't running very fast. He was trying to. But he was just fat because he eats my barbecue, <laughs> and both my dogs yeah. were just sitting there at the at the bottom of the barbecue looking. I'm like, there he goes. You missed him. I'm like, all right, dude. Uh, yeah, that's but guy, we had a crazy. My kid had a mouse one time. He was a little kid and a little white one. We got at the pet store in Tuscadero, and he named him Lady Gaga. And uh, so that thing got out of his cage one night. And man, we were. It took us a month or so to catch this thing. I didn't want to put snap traps out and kill the thing but man you'd you'd have a lady gaga sighting you know of corner your eye <laughs> and we're all just trying to run and grab this thing and it uh finally caught it and it got out again and then i took it back to the pet store you're like, like take I, this yeah. thing back I, I here you go you know i could squash this thing but i just couldn't do it, it was, <laughs> well I had to get, get we got earwigs we got millipedes we got silverfish which we have a lot of silverfish yeah. 
I don't know even know what the hell those things are. Sewerfish are kind of a tough one to get rid of. Um, they'll get in the attic and stuff. A lot, a lot of times they'll be in the attic, but they look for uh, glues. Um, so it's like you have a book bindings and stuff, like a bookshelf. Yeah. They, they eat the glue and the that holds the book together. Oh, really? Yeah, so they can be kind of a nuisance. And then when you squash them, they smear, so you make a I mess know. with them. Yeah. That's why they call them silver, silver yeah, fish. Tough. But earwigs are going to be popping here pretty quick. Those are always a good one. And, and right now, yeah. we, we have a thing with uh, moths. Like, literally, I've never ever seen, like, those little with, tiny white moths. With, um, the little... F- not, the, not the oak moths from the trees. No, the ones the, that eat your clothes. Like, literally, moth, I, I'll oh, pull really? a shirt out, and I'll have holes oh, all in no, it. Oh, that's not yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. But they're, like, little tiny. They look like little white. They look like, like ash. They look like ash floating in the air. Wow. They're just super tiny. So my wife but, got these... Moth moth balls all over. No, they're like a moth box of some sort. It hangs from the uh, the coat the coat rack or the the hangers inside. But I mean, the the monsters flying around it. So I'm not sure if those things work or not to get it out of there. Yeah, because the larvae is what doing the damage, and then they morph to the right to the moth. Yeah, so that's no good. Anyways, well, uh, (laughs) it's time. It's shoot. It's nine fifteen. We got uh, Jennifer Borhon coming in with Borhon Auto Center next. So let's uh, take a commercial, and we'll be right back to the morning brew. What's up, North County? Nate Santos here, owner of Santos Bros Plumbing. You might recognize me with my dancing horses at local events, such as the Tascadero Tamale Festival, Templeton Fourth of July, and Paso Pioneer Day. I am now available for all your home plumbing, service, and repair needs. From minor drips and drops to emergency leaks and clogs. For the best plumbing service, call Santos Bros Plumbing, Pipe Wranglers to the rescue. A Tascadero isn't your standard getaway. We're unique, just like you. We're growing, transforming, and figuring it out as we go. We're a town filled with innovators, artists, makers, and game changers. We're a little bit country, a little bit funky, and always authentic. We're here for your good times, your slow times, and your changing times. We are all in Atascadero. Come see for yourself. Learn more at visitatascadero.com. Hey, welcome back to the Morning Brew, guys. <laughs> Scared Dave there. <laughs> I'm have a sleep over here, man. To get my coffee in and... I saw you jerk, man. man. You're like, <laughs> he wasn't ready noises, for that, man. Uh, anyways, you, hey, screwed my train of thought up. I uh, want to appreciate Dave's story, story termite pest control, for coming on the show, guest hosting today. Always a lot of fun with you, man. Anytime, we appreciate anytime. your support here at What's Up North County, and sure. you know, appreciate you being a part of it like this. Yeah, so, fun. good stuff, huh? Yeah, I thought so too. Hey, yeah. we also want to give a reminder, shout out. We got the sheriff rodeo coming up May 11th. Get it there. Get your tickets. SlowSheriffRodeo.com. You don't want to miss this. It's going to be awesome. Mutton busting, bull riding, team roping, breakaway, the whole nine yards. And there's also a kick-ass fan zone before the rodeo even starts. So get your tickets. Make sure we're, we're there. And we're going to be broadcasting live there. Also, you got Stacy Strong Golf Tournament coming up in June. And right now, you got the Early Bird Special going on until April 7th. This is going to be a fun-filled day on the course at Hunter Ranch. you got to uh, sponsors at each hole, alcohol, drinks, food, the whole nine yards, prizes, and everything, and it's going to be awesome. Also, if you guys haven't already, get on over to our website, whatsupnorthcounty.com. Our links to our Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, all of our sponsors' links are there, all there as well, and uh, all of our show events and calendars will be there as well. But as always, guys, we can't do this without you and our sponsors. We'd like to thank Escalar Wines, Wine Travelers Hideaway, Visit a Tascadero, 805 Customs, Story Termite Pest Control, Pacific 805 Spas, Hanson Enterprises, Borhoen Auto Center, Kennedy Club Fitness, Airflow Filter Services, and of course, Story Termite and Pest Control. Dave, thanks again. Have a great time. See you guys. We'll see you next time. Hi, this is Dave Story, small game hunter with Story Termite and Pest. We're a full service termite and pest control company. From rodents to termites, we can take care of all your pest control needs. Call today, we can tailor a pest control program that will meet your needs and budget. Contact us at 805-460-0650 or at storytermite.com. Remember, we don't have customers, we have friends. Hi, welcome to Kennedy Club Fitness, where we have something for everyone. 
We have weights, cardio, group exercise classes, racquetball, basketball, swimming, and pickleball coming soon. Here at Kennedy, we're committed to health, wellness, and community. Stop by any of our four locations, Paso Robles, Atascadero, San Luis Obispo, and Arroyo Grande, or check out our website at kennedyclubs.com. What's up, North County? This is Teresa Branch with Airflow Filter Service. We are a family-owned business right here in the North County. We have air filters, oil filters, oils and lubricants, and hydraulic hoses. We provide services that include air filter cleaning, DPF cleaning, and waste oil collection. Come check us out at 1140 Ramada Drive, and we can help you with all your automotive and industrial vehicle needs. Atascadero isn't your standard getaway. We're unique, just like you. We're growing, transforming, and figuring it out as we go. We're a town filled with innovators, artists, makers, and game changers. We're a little bit country, a little bit funky, and always authentic. We're here for your good times, your slow times, and your changing times. We're all in Atascadero. Come see for yourself. Learn more at visitatascadero.com. What's up, North County? Nate Santos here, owner of Santos Bros Plumbing. You might recognize me with my dancing horses at local events, such as the Tascadero Tamale Festival, Templeton Fourth of July, and Paso Pioneer Day. I am now available for all your home plumbing service and repair needs, from minor drips and drops to emergency leaks and clogs. For the best plumbing service, call Santos Bros Plumbing, pipe wranglers to the rescue. <laughs> 